Hey there, I am back with another deck review, and today I'm going to be looking at Gaia from Forge Arts and UK designer Ben Sinclair. At the end of the video, I'm going to be announcing the winner of the Split Spades Gold giveaway. So you're going to want to stay tuned for the end of the video to find out if you were the winner. Uh, but before that, let's get into this deck. Now, this is a Kickstarter deck. Uh, ben Sinclair is like I mentioned, a UK-based artist. He was actually 17 years old when he designed the artwork for this. It's all hand-drawn. He wasn't actually looking to design a deck of playing cards. He was putting together basically just a personal art project. And then once it was complete, wanted to find a way to share it with the world, put it into a deck of playing cards. So partnering with Forge Arts, shared this up on Kickstarter, successfully funded, and the rest is history. Uh, the tuck case here is a matte finish with some really slight embossing going on. It uh, just says Gaia in block letters at the top and then has this beautifully hand-drawn scene of nature. So you've got the stag here in the bottom looking out over the mountains with the waterfall in the back here. If I come in real close you can see uh, just the level of detail that went into that drawing. So really beautifully hand-drawn style here. I love the frame of the leaves at the top. Uh, and interestingly, the scene wraps all the way around the box. So as I spin it here, you can see all the rest of the scene. It goes all the way until you've got the savanna down here with the waterfall, eagles flying over the top. So it's a full wrap scene all the way around, which I think is a really cool concept. So there you go. That is the main part of the tuck. Uh, on the bottom, you've got your ad copy. So it is printed by USBCC. And then you can see the mention of Ben Sinclair and Forge Arts there. Uh, the top just has some blue sky and leaves. And then as you open up the inner flap, it says Gaia right there. And then more leaves continuing on there. So I love how contiguous that entire back design is. Really, really cool. Uh, the interior has a kind of maroon uh, design printed all the way down. And it has sort of this repeated pattern going through, kind of an organic it seems to me a little bit kind of African inspired design going down and then vines going down on the sides here as well. So we got some interesting colored printing on the interior of the tuck case as well. Now the cards themselves, here is the back design. It's an interesting contrast. I mean, considering how bright the tuck is, this is a really kind of earthy red tones in this. Uh, depending on the light you look at it in, this can look almost dark and very brown or a lot more bright and red and vibrant. So like even as I'm looking at this like through the camera and in person, it looks a little bit darker in person than it looks on camera right now. Uh, you have a cream colored border and then the design going through the middle. So it's a symmetrical design and more of that kind of pattern design with dots and swirls going through. There's a little bit of a close-up so you can see that. So it's a, not a design of anything in particular, it's just kind of a very organic, interesting pattern to it. Uh, has these, the kind of multiple layer border here. So you have this line border with a little block pattern in the corners, and then you have a border on the outside, and then that cream colored medium poker border around the edge. So there you go, that is the back design of the cards. Flipping it over extra cards, you get two jokers. Kind of fun little joker. So they both feature a monkey. Uh, he's wearing a fez in both of them. One of them he's wearing shorts. And he's kind of in these goofy little poses. So he's like a performing monkey there. It says joker in, in kind of a fancy font down the corners. So you've got one with him sort of marching and saluting. And then another one with him swinging on a ring or a vine there. And again, all hand drawn through here. So pretty cool on those. Uh, others. Add card for Ben Sinclair with a spade and a heart pip. And you'll see those same pips as we get to the cards themselves. And then one for Forge Arts with the diamond and the club. So now as we go through the rest of the cards, so each one of the suits is going to represent a different biome. The deck is celebrating how all of the different environments of the world are kind of interconnected. And so he goes into a different biome with each one of these. So the spades are going to celebrate uh, the alpines, so kind of the mountains and animals that live up there. So the Ace of Spades is going to feature a scene of the alpine. So you've got the beautiful mountains here with the forest stretching out underneath, and then the river winding through, and these beautiful vines coming up, kind of framing the spade. And you get little, you know, even little birds flying up above it. Um, I really like the 
shadow of a spade that's coming up behind in addition kind of gives it an interesting framing custom pips and indices in the corner still very very readable and then you can see real small in there the spade pip here is also a custom one that kind of features a wooded look to it almost like yeah it's a wood you know made of wood as you go through the numbers are going to be pretty standard in layout uh, but they're going to be using that custom spade pip and then as we get to the court cards these are going to celebrate some of the animals of the alpine so you've got three different ones here you've got a wolf an owl and a stag and what i like about these i like that he does kind of two different poses so it's a one-way back design or a one-way court card design but as you flip it over you've got two different poses so here you've got the reclining wolf and then one sitting here looking out over the alpine a lot of them feature the animal that's kind of still and then in motion so you've got the owl here just kind of sitting with a feather in its beak and then this one he's taking off for flight or actually landing it looks like on this one and then you've also got the stag on one side and then on the other so there you go those are the court cards for the alpines uh, going into the diamonds we're going to now go into the tundra so the frozen tundra and so now you've got again a, a bold large uh, diamond design here featuring aspects of the tundra inside and then the branches now are kind of frozen with icicles all around so there's your diamond your spade there are your custom diamond pips and then as you work into the court cards now again you've got animals of the tundra so you have the walrus the snow leopard and a polar bear there so there you go and you can see the two different poses on each of those okay so the clubs now we're going into the rainforest uh, so the gorilla one of the more dramatic i think poses on this one the uh, black panther and a toucan so injecting a little bit of color there with the toucan and then there are your club pips a little bit hard to see the design on these but there's kind of a leafy design and a really dark green on those and then here's your ace looking out over the rainforest I uh, really like how the kind of intertwines there to form the three prongs of the club and then last but not least is the savanna so the African savanna and here you've got a water buffalo as the jack an elephant as the queen and none other than the king of the jungle or the king of the savanna the lion here as the king of hearts and then down through there's a closer look at the heart pips until you get to the ace of hearts and there you go love the the kind of twisting vines wrapping around and then you've got the sun setting uh, over the savannah here with the elephants marching off in the distance so really beautiful artwork on this one like i said it's all hand drawn ben did a fantastic job with this artwork you can actually pick up on his site or on ebay you can pick up art prints of these that he does uh, just really beautiful artwork uh, as far as handling of the cards it's a USBCC deck so it's going to handle you know with the high quality you kind of come to expect really beautiful in fans if you can get a nice wide fan you get that little bit of color pop in there so it look really nice in fans uh, the flip side of the deck doesn't look quite as great in fans just because it's hard to expose those corner pips they're a little bit far from the corners there uh, so you don't get a ton of design uh, unless you do really wide fans let's say like that so it's not going to look the greatest in fans here, but it's going to handle really nicely. Uh, what would I use the deck for? Uh, you know, it's one of those, like, you could use anything for cardistry. It handles reasonably well, so you could use this for cardistry. But for me, it's more of an art deck, just because of the beautiful work that Ben Sinclair did, as well as a gameplay deck. It's definitely still recognizable enough, um, readable enough that you can absolutely use this for gameplay. So that is it for the Gaia review. I hope you enjoyed that. But before we close it out today, going to announce the winner of the Split Spades Gold playing cards from David Blaine. And without any further ado, the winner for that is Nertz Master. So congratulations, Nertz. Uh, get in touch with me either here or on Instagram, uh, the card guy YT on Instagram. So get a hold of me one place or the other, and I will figure out how to get these to you. So congratulations, Nurse Master. Hope you enjoy the deck. That's it. That is the review for Gaia Playing Cards. Uh, let me know if there's other decks you want to see. Subscribe for more deck reviews, and I will see you for the next one.